is Kim back with you. Um, just wanted to do a quick video on the uh, 38 CFR. Um, this is the eCFR website. It's eCFR.gov. And this is the 38 CFR, the, uh, basically the um, law that governs um, pensions bonuses for veterans. So, if you go through here, there's general policy, and this is basically just this section here it talks about um, the rating criteria. Um, this is basically talking to the um, the rating officials and the evaluators um, that work for the VA or who are contracted by the VA. And it just gives them the guidelines that they are to go by to um, to do the rating. So when you go to them, like for say example for a C, um, CMP exam, um, this is some of the information that they're going to be going by to um, ask you questions and looking for you know the answers from you. So being familiar with that uh, would help in the long run so I would encourage you to do that then you can scroll on down there's disability ratings um, in subpart B and it just kind of, it breaks down by um, system body system so you got most musculoskeletal um, organs of special sense impairment you can I'm not going to insult your intelligence you can read that um, but just go through and, and you know, find what system of the body that um, the condition you have is in and then start digging. Um, just for instance, um, a lot of people have feet, um, knee pain, stuff like that, joint pain. So you just go in there and click on 4.45 and joints and as regard to joints, the factors of disability reside in reduction in reductions of their normal excursion of movements in different planes. Inquiry will be directed to these considerations, and this is kind of where they'll guide your the questions they ask you. And you may have to go in here and you know look these words up to see what the heck you know does that mean. Um, and then see if you know you are having symptoms related to any of these things. So when they ask you, you say, well, I don't know about that, but I have this. You know, I have pain when I move my knee this this way, or when I step that way, or whatever. And they can decipher. You don't want to go in there and start spitting out all these terms because you just want don't want to do that. So anyway. Um, they're going to measure your range of motion because um, part of joint pain and issues with your bones and stuff is probably going to be painful motion. Um, so, you know, go in there and check that out. And it, it tells you, you know, kind of what they're looking for. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's right there spelled out for you. Now, <clears throat> I'm not telling you to go in here and start making up stuff that you you have you don't want to do that but if you legitimately have you know some of the symptoms that you're seeing in here then by all means you know jot down your notes and and be ready so anyway um i just encourage you to scroll through here there's a lot of information um you don't need to know it all. um excuse me, don't need to know it all, but, you know, it's, there's a lot of stuff here, there's range of motion stuff, um, just all sorts of things that can benefit you as you go along in the process, so I'd encourage you to, you know, start familiarizing yourself with the 38 CFR, and again, that is at the web address ecfr.gov and there's some sites you can go to uh, even government sites and you can download this thing in PDF format 
and I mean, you can do that if you want to, but this is fairly easy and it's you know, very much click and it takes you to where you need to go. So um, I'd recommend this and it's updated um, on a regular basis. So that's another good thing too. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. Peace out. Have a good one.